Hey guys. We'll wait for Facebook to reassimilate everything here. Whew. So hopefully I did everything right this time. The storm's passed, so and even the sun's come back out now, so that's good. I think I am. There we go. Hi, Cindy. And there's my honey bunny. Hi, Paul. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I say this every time, but I'll, I'll say it again tonight. I won't stay on too awful long. We're celebrating my birthday today. I'm 40 which is um, weird. I, I don't mind turning 40. I know a lot of people freak out about it, and I think a lot of people back in their 30s start fibbing about their age. Um, I don't quite get that, but, you know, to each their own. I'm just, uh, I'm just glad to still be here, especially considering this time last year I was not so sure about that. So, But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. And uh, let's see, this month's giveaway, I know I wanted to talk to you guys about that, and I've got one here of the shirts. Uh, I know it seems like an odd thing for July, or I guess June, July, the oh, summer is getting away from me already, um, for a long sleeve shirt, but you know, the fall will be here before you know it, so, and it was something different. I've done a lot of the glasses, candles, books, and I thought you guys might like this. This one, of course, is, is um, a 3X, so you can kind of tell, and this one is actually one that's not in the packaging because it's a misfit one, as I, I call them, with one of the botch printings and I thought that I was going to do you can see they got a little bit of paint off on one of the sleeves here I think too not very much but enough that I didn't feel right about um, putting it up for sale in the shop but the sizes go uh, from small to 3x and I have one uh, public giveaway and then one exclusive giveaway for the Grim Reader gang but yeah there's like a little bit of paint up on the top of the sleeve there so the picture, if you uh, saw it in the giveaway on King Sumo or in the newsletter, it features my honey bunny modeling as Grimm. So that was kind of a fun one to do, and I put that in a lot of the banners when I'm doing sales on swag in the shop. So um, I am uh, going forward, I know I kind of talked a little bit about it, and if you follow the newsletter, with putting the Lana series, just the original series, not the spinoff, but the original series into Kendall Unlimited. And it'll probably be for like a three or six month run. We'll see how it goes. Um, but just uh, sales in general have kind of slowed down a bit and they tend to slow down a bit more even through the summer. And rather than scramble around and keep trying to do a bunch of different marketing things when I need to be focusing that time on writing the next Lana spinoff, um, I thought it might be a good idea to give myself a break and put it into Kindle Unlimited, which has a pretty big subscriber base. And I posed the question to my newsletter group a few weeks ago, and uh, everyone that did respond to that question responded with that they do subscribe to Kindle Unlimited and would love to see it in there. So I hope that doesn't upset too many of my wide readers. Uh, if you enjoy Kobo, Barnes & Noble, um, reading on things like that. I did set up a 99 cent sale for the Lana series through my personal store, which delivers through Book Funnel, which means you can read those stories on any device um, or through the Book Funnel app even. So that's going to run through June 24th, and every like books two through seven are 99 cents a piece. So it, it gives those who are partway through the series a chance to get the rest at a decent price, you know, before they're pulled off of everywhere except Amazon just because to be in Kindle Unlimited as an indie author, you have to be exclusive with them. So hopefully that's not a long-term thing. Mostly it's just to give me a breather on the marketing so I can focus on the writing because I'm still I'm still getting life, you know, back in order right now with uh, homeschooling a kiddo who's getting through middle school and yeah, just life in general. So um, I'm working on the custom still I feel like I've been working on them for ages, and I have had a few emails and people asking um, when when that's going to finish up, and soon I hope. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure nobody's more ready for it to be 
finished than I am because I there's so many projects in the works that I want to get to. So, um, let's see. I think I had a couple notes in here. So we, we did go over the giveaways, and it makes it tough for me on Facebook here finding a, the video description even. But I think I had left a link in there for the uh, book and swag store, but I will add a link directly into, um, I guess, the chat, chat box, the comments that goes directly to that 99 cent page. So let's see if I can find that real quick. To reopen all the tabs. I close out of them all when I do these live chats just to be on the safe side to make sure that there's nothing that could possibly slow down <laughs> everything. So, all right, let's try that. So I just put a link in there to the 99 cent sale. Oh, and the comments just recalibrated. So I've been missing everyone's comments. <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's see if it will scroll any higher there. Hi Cheryl. Hi Andrea. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. Hi Angela. Hi Darla. Thank you. Thank you. Hi Richard. Hi Michael. Hi Corey. <laughs> hi, I think it's that. Oh, oh, hi Cindy. Was she up there? So I can, well, let me see the other ones. Hi Alan. Hi Dolores. Wow, everybody's tuning in tonight. Well, it's good to see you all. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Cheryl, love the shirt. Yeah, it's a fun one. I've had them for a while. I did them for swag boxes a few years ago, and then I just had just, just a few extras that I put in the swag store, and I thought, well, um, to clear out a little bit of room, because there's going to be some more swag ordered in the near future, I thought it might be a fun giveaway to do. So, and I do think there's like only one or two left of some sizes, but, uh, you know, whatever, um, the giveaway winners choose. I'll remove those from the inventory deal, so we'll go from there. But oh, so Corey, I love your hair. Thank you. It's um acting a little squirrely today, but I did um some author pictures recently, and my bangs would not cooperate. And then I woke up this morning, and it's like oh, so I just need to maybe <laughs> not even try with the curling iron anymore. But, so Darla, or you live with my husband who thinks if you cannot see your breath on the air, the room is too warm. <laughs> you know, as I'm getting older, I kind of, I, I like, well, I think the hot flashes with the radiation induced menopause, I like it cooler now too. I used to be all about summer and the hotter the better, but um, as long as I was on water, you know, float trip or a swimming pool, but yeah, I, I like it cooler now. And I always seem to have um, one of these fans handy. So. <laughs> So Dolores watching while making dinner. Yeah, I'm going to be making dinner here in just a little bit. Angela, uh, the shirt looks awesome. Thanks. Yeah, they were pretty fun to make. I like the, the Reaper logo. Um, my past, you know, before going full-time writing as a graphic designer, definitely came in handy with doing some of these um, fun swag things, whether they're, you know, the Purgatory Lounge glasses and shot glasses, the cups, um, even designing like my bookmarks. I the old book covers I designed myself and then I started hiring those out to the graphic designers who have more airbrushing, you know, photo type skills in that industry and that kind of took some some of the work off of my plate too. But I still like doing the design part, um, logos and things for the swag. So, Corey, love those glasses. Thank you. Yeah, these these are new ones. I um I had another pair that looked like wood grain, but they were heavier than my last pair and they started giving me sinus headaches. And then uh, this pair popped up on sale, and, and the rainbow, I love rainbow, my um, my uh, author logo on my website and everything is done in rainbow, and oh, happy Pride Month to everyone, so yeah, kind of worked out perfect, and then with the author portrait new after 15 years, so. <laughs> see, Dolores, can you see mine? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm scrolling down. I'm missing some. Oh, thank you, Monica, for the birthday wishes. I'm sure nobody is more ready for it to be finished than me. Of oh, course. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I'm ready to finish the customs, get them narrated, um, get on to the, the third spinoff book. There are a lot of fun projects, but I definitely, I, I've got outlines and fun things and research set up for these Lana, these last few Lana spinoff books. Um, it's, it's breaking down like 
how the time that I have to do certain things throughout the day and things that are high on my priority list. Like I'm really trying to make sure I'm doing right by my kid with the homeschooling. And of course we got to keep the house in order and keep everybody fed. And, and then, and then it's just like the energy crunch too, after cancer treatment of not trying to overdo it and get myself in trouble with like my doctors. So let's see. I think these comments are getting a little scrambled. I'm not really sure they're out of order. I think, um, Facebook's maybe changed some things. So I apologize if I'm missing anyone's comments. Um, <laughs> Paul, before anyone says, why aren't you making dinner? No one wants that to occur. <laughs> I've got, yeah, I've got dinner covered, honey. It's okay. So, oh, Corey, you new author pictures are fantastic. Thank you. I've, I've only released those um, through my newsletter so far, but I'm going to probably pop them on uh, Instagram later today and then try to get them updated on the website this week. Uh, I, I like that old picture, but it is 15 years old, and I thought it's it's definitely time for a new picture, maybe one that looks a little bit more professional. So, <laughs> it's power surges. Oh, is that is that Richard? I don't know if it's lagging or I'm not sure what the power surges are doing. It's okay. I just met my post. I do see your post, Dolores. So hopefully, or, or some of them at least. I think they're scrambling a bit. I see where you said hey to Paul, and can you see your post? Yes. I think um, at first, when I first started, it showed like the first two comments, and then I felt like I was talking to myself for about five minutes there, and then suddenly about a dozen comments scrolled up. So yeah, it's probably probably just some type of lag, power surge, like Richard said there. So, Corey, the yellow looks great on you. It's giving Hufflepuff librarian vibes in the very, was it in the best possible way. Thank you. I will take that compliment. I generally um, subscribe to the Ravenclaw faction, but I think I'm probably halfway on that. I'm probably a Huffleclaw or Ravenpuff, however you want to split that. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, um, I'll post those in the group too after I, I had fun with those pictures. I don't know if it'll let me post them in the, in the comments. It looks like stickers and emojis maybe only. So yeah, I'll post those. I'll post those after the live chat. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I had any more notes on there. We have the giveaway. It's kind of a short one, I guess, this week. Maybe I was serious there at that short one there. Unless you guys have any questions about anything coming up, going on. Um, I know that sale. I'm trying to think what I put in the last newsletter. You can check that out every time I have to reopen everything here. Let's see. Mailer light. So I'm going to try figure this out while I'm on here. <laughs> I closed out of about 50 tabs. That's about how many I have open at any given time on my computer. So let's see. KU store plans. Okay. Giveaway. I think that I think that pretty much is everything that I had in my last newsletter even. Um, but I definitely wanted to give you guys a heads up about the Lana series. If just and I know a lot of you in the group have probably already read through the whole Lana series, so it's probably okay. The paperbacks and the audiobooks will still be available everywhere. They'll still be available in the store, and um, everything it'll be going live everywhere again as, as si long, I guess, as soon as it's done with the KU run. Um, if it goes well, if everyone seems to enjoy it, I may try to put Blood Vice in for a three to six month run. We'll see how that goes because I know. I know there are a lot of KU readers out there who haven't read the series yet that might enjoy it, and that and that would definitely give give me a break on all the hardcore marketing. There have been like a, a lot of really big group promos that I've been trying to be a part of, uh, the Zoe Bubs, the stuff your earbuds. If you follow my newsletter, you've probably seen all that. I post them on social media too, though. Um, we have another one coming up here in a couple weeks. I think it's called like the Solstice. It's supposed to be like a quarterly on the solstices and equinoxes. So. Um, and I think the first Lana books in that too. So, all right, guys, I am scrolling through, hoping I didn't miss any comments. I think. Oh, Dolores, still got your snails in your garden. They are your little pets. Yeah, I haven't seen them much. Um, let's see, closed unused applications. Oh, I'm not sure what Facebook's trying to tell me now. They're always trying to tell me something I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't seen them much since the rain, but we just got another bit of rain today, so they might be popping up again. There was uh, one on the house the other day that was, I mean, a big one. 
um, up above our door. So, but we've had a lot of different mushrooms lately too. I've been posting pictures of the mushrooms on Instagram too. But our yard's kind of just a little fun little wildlife habitat of neat things. We had a fox hanging around a few weeks ago. That one's probably not so good, especially since we've been talking about getting chickens in the future. And foxes and chickens are a no-go. So we've got an armadillo hiding out around here somewhere. We see his scuffs in the yard every now and then. But So <laughs> so I had some fun pictures, fun spring pictures for Instagram. And I don't know if you've been following. I'm trying to think what else I've got here. Um, the On Instagram and TikTok, if you're on either of those, I've been doing all these library uh, videos. And I think I'm down to, I've got one left. I've got to finish scanning the cabinet, one side of the cabinet underside. There were a lot of books on that last one. Oh my gosh. And I, I broke a thousand after getting to that cabinet. But I know there are probably a couple hundred more on the other side. Um, and that'll be done in my office. Um, and I did do a shelf in the kitchen. But after that, I'll be doing Zade's bookshelves, which are pretty extensive too, but less less so than here. There's at least five or six rows of books that I'll be scanning in. So, so yeah, that's that's been fun. I, I think I did mention the library app last time that I've been using. Um, yeah, it's a it's been handy, and I, it does movies and comics too. So I've got a stack of comics. Um, I am confused. I guess confused, like trying to decide if I should segment out all the comics. I think you can just um, group them in with your books as well but if I separate them out then I get concerned do I put the graphic novels in with the books or with the comics so and I think because I've got several of those but like Kim Harrison's based off of the hollow series I wasn't sure because it's just you know comic book there but it has an ISBN so I don't know if I should put that with the comic collection in the app or put it with the books. Right now it's in with the books. I have um, a couple of these graphic novels so let's see what I should be doing with them. Let's see, your live stream is experiencing performance issues. Try closing any other applications or browser tabs. Okay, I hope you guys can still see. Um, I don't have any other browser tabs open, I don't believe. So I apologize if it's doing anything glitchy. Um, we are on a new new internet provider, so but if I'm missing your comments, hopefully they'll pop up after. Oh, something something just scrolled. <laughs> Let's see. Lulu can guard the chickens. <laughs> Lulu um, has turned into quite the priss, let me tell you. Um, if the grass is a little too tall in her opinion or dewy at all, I have to shove her off the driveway so she doesn't just try to go to the bathroom on the driveway. Uh, she's very pampered in that way. <laughs> so I don't know about guarding chickens. She um, she grew up on a farm until she was four months and then she very quickly became a spoiled house doggy with us. So, <laughs> so Corey, ooh, good question. Do comics have ISBNs? I don't know if, if all comics do. I'll, I'll have to dig through my stack that I have back there. Um, I know the graphic novels do. So that's where maybe, maybe the comics do too. Um, I'm going to find that out this week when I finish scanning in my library. So, all right, I'm going to holler, I guess, for the fluff and the kiddo, my husband, to come on back. And we'll tell you guys good night before we go uh, cram some more German chocolate cupcakes down and watch some Jeopardy. I'm going to fix some BLTs too. So It's bacon. It's, it's my birthday. I'm not supposed to have processed meat, but it's my birthday. So... And I'm just doing a little bit. Mostly it's chicken and fish because that's, you know, all the healthy stuff. I'm supposed to be staying on a good healthy diet, healing and everything. So, but, all right. Let me see if I can <laughs> get untangled from here. Oh, before I do, I got the rug going all wonky under me now. Zave and I started uh, a little school project with some lavender. My mom got us this little lavender, but only one of the seeds has sprouted so far. So, <laughs> but it's under a little grow light over here. I don't know if you can see all this over here. But, all right, come on in. Get your cameos and tell everyone good night. <laughs> you say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Here's Lulu. Do you want to hop up here and say goodbye too? Come here. Oh, you're Goliath. Oh my. All right, guys. <laughs> Good night, everybody.
So we'll see you next time. Have a good June. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs>